Hey family, welcome back to Dose by Marquita. Yes, I switched it up a little bit with my hair. I needed to let my hair breathe. It was embraced too, too, too long. But welcome back to day three of Proverbs 31 Day Challenge. And I remember I said, write down a few things that you're struggling with. And I can say already, and this is day three, that one of them is definitely getting better. And one of them, uh, well, actually two on my list, because the three I had was losing weight, saving money, desiring my husband, and building clientele. So saving money and desiring my husband, those two things are getting better. And when I say saving money, I actually made a sale today at my salon suite, and I did not spend it. Like, I still, <laughs> I still have the funds from when I made the sale. And desiring my husband, I trust God. And it's so ironic that I feel this way because that's what the next uh, few, that's what the next, this chapter is about. Um, the first half of the chapter anyway is about trust God. So from verses 1 through 12, the topic is trust God. And then verses 13 through 35, the value of wisdom. So um, we want to go ahead and jump right into it. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1, and it reads, My child, remember my teachings and instructions and obey them completely. They will help you live a long and prosperous life. Let love and loyalty always show like a necklace and write them in your mind. God and people will like you and hold you in high esteem. With all your heart, you must trust the Lord and not your own judgment. Always let him lead you, and he will clear the road for you to follow. Don't ever think that you are wise enough, but respect the Lord and stay away from evil. This will make you healthy, and you will feel strong. Honor the Lord by giving him your money and the first part of all your crops. Then you will have more grain and grapes than you will ever need. My, ch my child, don't turn away or become bitter when the Lord corrects you. The Lord corrects everyone he loves, just as parents correct a child they dearly love. And again, this is contemporary English version, the CEV version. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the second half of this chapter, the value of wisdom. God blesses everyone who has wisdom and common sense. Wisdom is worth more than silver. It makes you much richer than gold. Wisdom is more valuable than precious jewels. Nothing you want compares with her. In her right hand, wisdom holds a long life. In her left hand, her are wealth and honor. Wisdom makes life pleasant and leads us safely along. Wisdom is a life-giving tree, the source of happiness for all who hold on to her. By his wisdom and knowledge, the Lord created heaven and earth. By his understanding, he let the ocean break loose and clouds release the rain. My child, use common sense and sound judgment. Always keep them in mind. They will help you to live a long and beautiful life. You will walk safely and never stumble. You will rest without a worry and sleep soundly. So don't be afraid of sudden disasters or storms that strike those who are evil. You can be sure that the Lord will protect you from harm. Do all you can for everyone who deserves your help. Don't tell your neighbor to come back tomorrow if you can help today. Don't try to be mean to neighbors who trust you. Don't argue just to be arguing. When you haven't been hurt, don't be jealous of cruel people or follow their example. The Lord doesn't like anyone who is dishonest, but he lets good people be his friends. He places a curse on the home of everyone who is evil, but he blesses the home of every good person. The Lord sneers at those who sneer at him, but he is kind to everyone who is humble. You will be praised if you are wise, but you will be disgraced if you are a stubborn fool. So like I said, just continue to meditate on the word, um, read it over and over again so you can get it into your spirit. And Lord willing, I will see you tomorrow for day four of Proverbs 31 Day Challenge. See you, family.